In this lesson to assist you with learning at the ASN level, we will discuss managing time and designing success. Upon completion of this lesson, you should be able to identify personal gifts and barriers, identify outcome priorities related to both gifts and barriers, create an action plan to address outcome priorities, describe how learning style affects the learning process, explain how personality traits may affect learning, identify the impact of self-directedness on learning, define personal empowerment, and interpret the role of locus and control on an empowerment. Other objectives include explaining the impact of positive self-talk, describe how does self-defeating behavior negatively affects personal empowerment, describe self-defeating behaviors, explain four key work habits that contribute to success, explain the impact of health on personal empowerment, and identify the steps that aid in stress reduction. Identifying individual learning tools. Empowerment provides a way for doing something to set free the ability to move forward to enable. Personal empowerment is giving yourself the opportunity to succeed or enabling your own success. Being empowered fosters positive feelings. A person can improve personal empowerment skills by assuming an internal locus of control, practicing positive self-talk, eliminating self-defeating behaviors, managing the work of success, and managing health. Empowerment has little to do with externals. Take stock of yourself. Do the inner work that gently returns you home to yourself as you learn to consciously create the magic happens along the way. Gifts and Barriers Most people are uncomfortable talking about their strengths and weaknesses. One of the best lessons that you can learn is to become self-aware. Self-awareness is being conscious of and understanding yourself. While self-awareness is essential, you will not get the benefits of self-awareness unless you take action to correct or minimize your weaknesses, barriers, and capitalize on or maximize your gifts. As in this cartoon, I want greater self-awareness, but can I continue to be unaware of my bad qualities? In order in order to do this, you should write a plan of action to support the outcome priorities for the gifts and barriers. Review the plan from time to time. Keep a journal to remind you of what you have done and where you plan to be. Self-awareness is the path to your highest potential. Gifts and Barriers Action Plan Being self-aware will not help unless you take action. Take action. Implement the plan. First, you have to assess, evaluate, Define, diagnose, plan, prioritize, and take action to implement this plan. You will need to know what your personal strengths are, maximize your strengths, and plan to correct or minimize your barriers or weaknesses. One of the first things you can do in learning is to learn is your learning style. There are many learning style surveys or instruments to assist you with identifying your learning style. Cope developed an experiential learning style inventory. Cope's cycle of learning occurs in phases. In phase one, which is the concrete experience, phase two, the reflective observation, phase three, abstract conceptualization, phase four, active experimentation. Learners who prefer to learn through concrete experiences like being directly involved and hands-on. Learners who prefer to learn through reflective observation prefer watching events or experiences without being directly involved. Learners who prefer abstract conceptualization are considered organizers and are comfortable with the lecture format or reading and note-taking through which they can organize the information the way they like it. Learners who prefer active experimentation learn better by trying different solutions to a problem before settling on one solution. Kol Kolb's learning style inventory has been applied quite successfully according to many studies. Kolb's learning style inventory does have a cost. We chose to use the VARC survey that you completed in this program because you could do it very inexpensively. Try free. Learning styles. People generally fit into more than one VARC category. The majority of people fit at least two categories. Some fit three. A smaller number will score equally in all four categories. Most adults adapt into multimodal learners and are able to learn using multiple styles. 
In this visual, it talks. It, you can see how the visual learners are fast talkers, impatient, use words and phrases that evoke visual images, and see and visualize. The oral learner are slow speakers, natural listeners, linear thinkers, prefer explanation than text, and listen and verbalize. The kinesthetic learner are the slowest talkers, slow to decide, use all senses to engage learning, do and solve, prefer hands-on approaches, and learn through trial and error. The read-write learner prefer written text, emphasize text-based input and output, and enjoy reading and writing. Personality Traits in Learning According to the Myers-Briggs type type indicator. There are extroverts and introverts. The extroverted learner likes to talk to people to learn versus the introverted learner who would re prefer privacy. The sensing or intuition personality type. Sensing relates new abstract concepts to prior concrete knowledge and the intuition learner observes abstractly through imagination. Thinking versus feeling. The thinking learner must know the content versus a feeling learner who helps others. Judgment versus perception. Careful planning with judgment and perception study if it feels like it, as in the perception in this cartoon. In this one, the one said, the one monkey says, I did not slap you. I high-fived your face. It's all about perception. Research states that people have and use both traits in each category, but that one is displayed more than the other. There's also the preferred learning style in index, receptive versus discovery learners, organized systematic delivery of information versus experimentation and problem solving, and there's the Gregoric's theory of mediation ability, perception or the manner in which a person takes in information. In information is taken in two ways, abstract and concrete. Ordering the way that information is taken in is organized. A person organizes information in two ways, sequ sequentially and randomly. People generally fit into more than one category. In doing so, will combine the different styles in learning. The personality traits in learning question one. An LPN is an a data organizer and likes to order and arrange information in meaningful ways when studying and learning. Which type of learning is this and is this LPN? The answer is abstract random. They use their feelings to organize information into meaningful ways to grasp new information. Adult learners need to be self-directed learners. This is associated with successful learners. Malcolm Knowles is known as a theorist who focuses on self-directed learning. The most popular view of self-directed learning is that of autonomy. The learner assumes ownership of learning. In assuming ownership of their own learning, the student demonstrates initiative, independence, persistence, discipline, determination. Self-directed learning requires practice, time, and experience. In this program, we, we move very quickly from one subject to the next. This will require that you learn to be a more self-directed learner quite quickly. When self-directed learning is practiced, the faculty serve as guides and facilitators. The student is responsible for their own learning. Gone are the days when the nursing instructor stands in front of the classroom and is the sage on the stage. We have ushered in the time when it is time for nursing instructors to be guides on the side. This allows students to control and be responsible for their own learning. Personal empowerment includes behaviors that allow you to be motivated to engage in your educational life from a perspective of strength and control. According to Catanio and Chapman, empowerment occurs when a person identifies a goal, takes action using knowledge, self-efficacy, and competency to achieve the goal. First, you would identify a goal using self-efficacy or the belief that you can achieve the goal. Add knowledge or understanding of the goal or the path that you must take to reach the goal. Fourth, you will need the competence in knowing how to accomplish the goal. And finally, the impact is the personal evaluation of the actions you have taken to achieve the goal. Assuming an internal locus of control. When you assume an internal locus of control, this describes where you believe the power in your life resides. It can be internal or external. Internal, the responsibility lies with you. External, the responsibility lies outside of you. In, in this chart that's on this slide, the external believes success or failure is a result of luck, chance, fate, or power for others. They tend to be negative, give up easily, and not try too hard, will not initiate contact or attempt to repair damaged relationships, work better when the place is automated, feels victimized by illness and stress, and takes less preventive action, correlated with emotional instability, anxiety, and neuroticism, and feels more anger and perceive others to be less friendly. 
Those who have an internal locus of control believe they have control over personal successes and failure, do better in jobs where they set their own pace, more health conscious and seek medical attention when needed, they are less prone to stress related illnesses, anxiety or depression, they are high achievement and expects to perform well, they are more independent and achieving and dominant. Which would you rather be? Would you rather be an internal, where you control your own destiny, or external, where everyone else controls your destiny? Positive self-talk is defined as speaking to yourself and others kindly and with encouraging words in a manner that would support and affirm. Being as kind, understanding, forgiving, and encouraging to yourself as you would be able to be to a fellow student, a child, or a friend who is doing the best possible. Stop negative self-talk and speak your affirmations out loud. I know what I can do so it doesn't bother me what other people think or their opinion of the situation. Usain Bolt. You need to eliminate self-defeating behaviors. As this says, a pessimist is never disappointed. A pessimist always views their current situation as negative. This person also anticipates outcomes that are also negative. In true fashion, a pessimist is never disappointed. A person who nitpicks rationalizes a decision that cannot be supported through other means. They look for the tiniest faults or mistakes. In doing this, they often miss out on what they have the potential to learn. Some people miss the message because they are too busy looking for the mistake. The warrior often causes multiple problems for themselves with fear. If you had done your best, listened to your inner voice of reason and made your decision based on the evidence at hand, stop worrying. Worrying is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it doesn't get you anywhere. No one is perfect. The perfectionist practices a self-defeating behavior often as a way to procrastinate doing anything. You should set goals that are realistic and go for it. The problem with being a perfectionist is that everything has to be perfect. The problem with being human is that nothing is perfect. The most self-destructive of all self-defeating behaviors is blaming others. When you blame someone else, you refuse to take responsibility for your own actions. This does not allow you to grow and learn from mistakes. This is not a professional behavior. As a nurse, you must be able to take responsibility for your own actions. No, really, it's adorable when you blame everyone but yourself. Managing the work of success. When you make a decision, stick to it. Every decision you make leads to an outcome. A decision you make in a nursing course could directly impact your grade. If it does, this was your decision. Faculty do not give grades. The student earns grades. Always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any other. Abraham Lincoln. Planning is essential to your success. Success. Taking the time to plan will assist you in accomplishing your goals. Have a plan and a backup plan to ensure that you accomplish all you set out to accomplish. If you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Once you have made a plan, you must commit to making sure that it succeeds. This becomes difficult when you are faced with other responsibilities and requests for your time. You must have discipline in order to stick to your plan. When you commit to your plan, you have a much greater chance of succeeding in obtaining your desired outcome. There's a difference between interest and commitment. When you're interested in doing something, you do it only when it's convenient. When you're committed to something, you accept no excuses only results. If you have poor time management skills, the best laid plan may not be successful. Learning effective time management skills is, is essential to your success. The bad news is time flies. The good news is you're the pilot. Time management. In order to develop successful time management skills, you must first assess the use of time in your daily life. Sit down right now and complete the exercise in your book on page 24. Bring it to class with you. Setting goals is the next step on your journey to effective time management. You should identify the goals that you have set for this semester, then prioritize those goals. When you get your syllabus, set goals for each course that you have during each eight-week session. Buy a calendar. Put all of your school responsibilities on it. Include all your personal family responsibilities that you are aware of. Unfortunately, there may be times that your school will have to take priority. However, it is up to you what your priorities are. If you choose to do something on your calendar that is a personal or family item and you get a low score on the exam, that was your choice and you received the grade that you earned. Own it, accept it, and move on. 
Time Wasters. This program is an accelerated LPN to ASM program. The program moves at a very vigorous pace. You need to be aware of the time that you spend in your life that is not productive. This does not mean that relaxing or other methods of reducing stress are not productive. In some cases, just taking a walk can be a productive school activity. However, you must be aware of the amount of time you spend doing all activities. There are many potential time wasters in all our lives. Procrastination is one of the most horrid of all time wasters and it's very self-defeating. Procrastination is any time an activity that can be done now is put off until the deadline is very near or past. Try to look at the activities that you put off. What is the reason that you are procrastinating? Break it down into parts, look at each part, and then focus on a resolution for the reason you are procrastinating about that project. Forms of procrastination. You may be paralyzed by planning. So you spend so much time planning that there is no time to carry out the activity. Procrasti Perfectionism is a pure form of procrastination. Students may turn an assignment in late trying to get it perfect. Some assignments are more exciting than others. Trying, try to find the significance of every assignment. If you have ne negative feelings toward the instructor giving you the assignment, you may have hostility that can lead to procrastination. You may not agree with the assignment or the timing of the assignment. Try to remove the motion from the assignment. Believe it or not, instructors do not give assignments as a form of punishment. Some people like the adrenaline rush that they get when the deadline for an assignment is fast approaching. If you are the type of person who does this and will state, I do my best work at the last minute, consider doing most of the work early. Save the polishing or finishes touches to the last minute. Remember, my internet went out at 11.45 and the assignment is due at 11.59 is not a valid excuse. You will still receive the grade that you deserve based on the handbook. Review the 10 ways to avoid procrastination in your book. Managing your health. Stress greatly impacts the health of nursing students. Every person experiences stress related to the many roles and responsibilities that they have while they are in nursing school. You have many family responsibilities. You have financial responsibilities and may need to work, which leads to other, another mode of stress. You have to study. Many have test anxiety especially when they learn that the tests in the ASM program are much different than the tests in the LPM program. Another factor that leads to stress is the lightning speed at which the accelerated program moves. Stress affects not only you, but all of the significant others in your life. At times, this may include your fellow students and faculty. What are your stressors and potential stressors for this coming year? Stress reduction. The first method of stress reduction is to achieve awareness of the stressors in your life and that you are under stress. Potential symptoms include headache, tension, upset stomach, lost appetite, increased appetite, and decreased ability to handle minor stressors. Being aware of stress and stressor is a first step of stress reduction. Identify your automatic thoughts. Automatic thoughts are almost always negative. I will never have time to do all this. Acknowledge these automatic thoughts and replace them with, I will rearrange my schedule and will have plenty of time to get this done. Identify cognitive distortions which are illogical or irrational thoughts. Don't believe everything you think. All or nothing thinking, overgeneralization, mental filtering, disqualifying the positive, jumping to conclusions, magnifications, should statements, emotional reasoning, labeling and personifications. Choose coping mechanisms at work. Distraction, direct action, relaxation, reframing, affirmation, assertive communication, spirituality, catharsis, journal writing, social support, empathy, and acceptance. 